Hi guys, and welcome back to another video, another Every Freaking Wednesday, another Nellyville uh, production. So, like, subscribe, thumbs up if you if this is your first time here. You know, like, welcome. Um, yeah, all that good stuff. Also, if you're not caught up on the podcast, now is a good time to catch up. So you got a little bit of time to do a little binge listening, and then uh, you'll be all ready for season four. I'll keep you posted wasn't sure if I was going to make this video. You know, look, I have some pressing questions that um, I would love your opinions on. You know, just between us squirrel friends, just between us good Judies. Okay, so unless you live under a rock and even there, I don't know how you could have missed it. We all know that the Queen, Queen Elizabeth has passed away, right? My condolences to the family. May she rest in peace. I noticed that immediately after she passed that um, there was a split on how people responded to her passing. Um, of course, you had some people who were sad and uh, who, who uh, expressed their uh, condolences to the family, but, but you had an overwhelmingly amount of people uh who just didn't care uh and not only didn't care who were very expressive about how they uh just didn't care for her uh people were very quick to say what they didn't like about her what she did wrong um it, it was a lot of team diana um a lot of memes a lot of jokes and i and, and look, it, it's not, it's not unheard of for people to make memes and, and jokes and stuff about the deceased. But normally there's a little bit more of a grace period than just an hour. If it was even an hour after she passed. I mean, you ever had major uh, media folk expressing their lack of, I don't care, uh, about her passing. And so it was just very alarming to me because I'm like, okay, have we reached a place in society? Have we reached a time where showing respect towards the deceased? Like, is that just old fashioned? Um, or, it, it, you know, or, but then also I go to, is it because she's a woman leader? There have been male leaders who have done just as much quote unquote bad or, um, but it seemed like they still got a level of respect, at least a grace period before people started going in and attacking their character or what they did and what they didn't do in and outside of the office, the throne, their country, their city. I just found it very odd. I don't know a whole lot about Queen Elizabeth, okay? I know a little bit of this, I know a little bit of that. I, I won't sit here and say the things that she's being accused of or the things that she did, the things that we can prove. You know, look, nobody's perfect. I'm sure there were some things that she could have done better, but that's not what we're here to discuss. I mean, what do you all think? Do you think that it is okay to just immediately um, attack someone's character or their legacy just as soon as they pass away. You know, how soon is too soon to break out the Family Guy jokes? You know what I'm saying? Not that Family Guy has made jokes, and maybe Seth MacFarlane, maybe he has. But you get what I'm saying. How soon is too soon? You know, is it just times are evolving? And it's, people are like, why be fake about it? If this is how I feel, then this is how I feel. And if it were a king, would it be that same energy? Six hours later. Sorry, but anyway, so what was I even saying? I don't know. But look, the point is, I just want to know, I mean, what do you think? Because I feel like regardless of what someone did here on this earth, I, I, I just believe that there should be a level of respect given to someone who's passed away if for no other reason towards the the surviving family members you know this is still someone's mother this is someone's you know grandmother someone's you, you know what i mean and regardless of how you feel about that person i think that if you can't respect anything else just respect the life that was here and now it has not but it still leaves the question of how when is it okay to start to make jokes 
and to start to express, you know, less than um, happy feelings about a person. I mean, it's, you know, you don't have to pretend like someone is, you know, hunky dory. You know, we don't have to pretend like someone was great. And I'm not saying that she was not. Because I don't, also, I don't believe just because someone passed, all of a sudden you need to act, pretend to be so sad and heartbroken and all you say is good things about this person. I think that there is a time and place to discuss uh, the events in someone's life. But immediately, like literally immediately, it was just overwhelming to me that, so many people were just okay with expressing their uh, dislike with this prestigious figure in history. So I don't know. I don't have the answers. May she rest in peace. Weigh in. Let me know. And uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I, I did, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you with that. I don't know. If you miss her, my condolences to you. If you don't, be respectful in the comments. If you get rude, your comments will get deleted. We're we not going to do that. Over. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, go ahead and subscribe, like, uh, thumbs up. Uh, well, thumbs up is like, share. Sorry I got distracted because it's doorbell, but whatever. Anyways, um, yeah. I will catch you, little Judies, in, um, you know, the next video, podcast, TikTok live or something. Okay, love you so much again. Bye.